The Trudeau government is withdrawing a controversial amendment that would have defined what kind of firearms should be banned in Canada and added dozens of new semi-automatic rifles and shotguns to the list. Manisa Danabalan joins us live with more. Manisa, the Liberals received a lot of backlash when it was suddenly introduced back in December. That's right, Kelly. It caused an outcry in many parts of rural Canada as hunters argued that it criminalized weapons that they often use legally for hunting. The Liberals were under pressure with their own MPs as well to pull it back. Unanimously agreed to the Liberal motion to withdraw two parts of Bill C-21. Amendment G-4 currently under consideration by the committee be deemed withdrawn and that Amendment G-46, which has not yet been moved, be deemed withdrawn from the package of amendments. G-46 included hundreds of pages that listed firearms that would have been banned once the bill is passed, while G-4 would mean no semi-automatic centerfire firearm would ever be allowed in Canada. There were other things that were in G4, actually. There was a, there was a definition for uh, ghost guns, which are 3D printed guns. When it was tabled in 2022, Bill C-21 focused on a national handgun freeze, among other firearms offenses. But the amendments that came up last year expanded its scope. It sparked criticism across the country, Canadians saying it included hunting firearms and that it would take the right to hunt away from many, including Indigenous people. In a statement today, Marco Mendicino, Minister of Public Safety, wrote, We hear those concerns loud and clear, regret the confusion that this process has caused, and are committed to a thoughtful and respectful conversation that is based on facts, not fear. In order to get this bill right, Canadians need to know that we heard them. And it's important for us to hear those voices that have not been heard and to hear some of those voices that were heard uh, in the past. We have to get this over the finish line in a way that respects uh, victims, but also respects hunters, farmers, Indigenous communities. The Canadian Shooting Sports Association says Bill C-21 should be scrapped entirely because the guns used in crime are not the ones owned by legal owners. These millions of handguns that we're talking about here all have a value. The government has made them so you can't sell them, buy them, or trade them. Therefore, the value of them is gone. And we are looking at hundreds of millions of dollars in value that is legitimate lawful property that's being taken from Canadian families. Liberal MP Pam DeMoff says they've invested funding into the border to address guns that come from the states. But she adds that Bill C-21 also includes additional sentencing for organized crime and targets ghost guns. Ghost guns are basically 3D printed guns that, are, um, that require uh, firearm parts. I was told by the Vancouver Police Department that it's actually, those are the weapons of choice for organized crime. But withdrawing Amendment G4 included references to ghost guns. During today's meeting, MPs mentioned the importance of bringing that back in the future. Right now, uh, organized crime can print with a 3D printer the receiver. So picture the, the, the main piece of the, the firearm that you see, the handgun. Uh, but they still require parts uh, like triggered slides to complete it so that it functions. And so what we want to do is try and put restrictions on them. The committee agreed to hold four meetings to hear from Canadians and Indigenous people and Mendicino added that they will craft a new solution that will keep assault-style weapons off Canadian streets. Kelly?